We're just going to have a look at the new Aligner Distribute commands in ARCHICAD 12. We're going to place some elements on this slab just to help us see what we're actually doing because without the rectangular box it might be hard to put everything into context. We're going to use a simple bollard object that's found in the ARCHICAD 12 library and we're just going to position them in a random manner but with one close to the bottom and one close to the top in the two opposing corners of this rectangle. So if I switch to 3D, this is what's actually happening. To start with, we're going to select all these objects and both the align and the distribute command or tool can be found under edit menu, align and distribute. We'll start with the align. It obviously works on pre-selected objects and when you we have a line to the left, center horizontally, right top, center vertically, bottom and special align. Now if we just examine these objects once again, there's one in the bottom left hand corner, one in the upper right hand corner, and a few that are just placed randomly in between. If I go to edit and say align to the left, what happens is the objects get picked up from where they were located and they are moved to in line with the leftmost object, which was this one down here in the bottom left hand corner. You can see that the Y axis or the Y value along the shorter edge of this rectangle has remained unchanged. So they're just basically being thrown to the left and so they line up with the leftmost object in the selected set. So if I choose to the right, everything gets lined up with the rightmost object and that stays where it is and they all get lined up. Got to remember that the rectangle that we're using or the slab that we're using is just for keeping it within a certain bounds and those objects are not related to the slab in any way. They're not aligned to it at all. There's also center horizontally. What that will do, it'll find the halfway point between the left and rightmost object along the Y axis and then it will put everything in the middle it'll move all the objects up or down to line up with the halfway mark between this and this point here across the middle and in a similar way center vertically does the same thing but on a vertical axis it finds the northerly most object and the southerly most object divides that by two and puts them all in the middle along a center line aligned to the top it will find the highest Y value in a set and line up the rest of the objects with the highest point. And then align to the bottom, lines it up with the lowest object in the set and then throws the others to line up with it. Again without moving the objects left or right. The last option, which is the most interesting one, is Special Align. As soon as we click on Special Align, the Align dialog box opens up and over here it asks us a couple of questions. How to align them. First, whether they should be aligned to the nearest point, the nearest point to whatever we're going to align to on this side of the dialog box. We can also align to the bounding box and we can actually designate the point that we're going to align to. Now what should the object be aligned to? It can either be a newly drawn or an arc or we could click an existing line or element edge at the moment we don't have an existing one so I'm just going to say draw a line or an arc and then as soon as we do that the pen tool comes up then I can draw a line between two points and, and regardless of how long this line is the objects are going to be lined up at 45 degrees and thrown at that line perpendicularly from wherever they were positioned previously If I was to say align special and then draw a line or an arc and if I drew an arc of some sort they will be aligned in a very similar way even though the result looks very very different. Well, we'll explain that in a minute. First, the line was fairly obvious but we're going to have a look at the arc. So I'm just going to draw some sort of an arc like this. 
and also find the centre point of this arc. Should be about there. And if I draw a line through that object there, this bollard and this bollard here, Now let's see what happens. If I go Edit, Align, Special Align, click to an existing line or element edge. I'm going to click the arc again. And now what happens is just like previously when we were aligning to a line or left or right, the X and Y coordinates are being used. When you're aligning to an arc, the X and Y coordinates are not being used. So each one of these objects is being distributed along the line between the center of the circle and the arc. So it's radiating from a center point to the arc. So this top bollard will follow this ray from the center of this radius and be placed on that actual radius line and that happens with the rest of them as well. Align special to an existing element or edge and we can see that this is what's happened. The distribute command will allow us to have the objects distributed evenly either between the leftmost and the rightmost object or top and bottom or even can be distributed along another object. In this case I'm just going to say distribute along the X axis and as you can see the X distances between those is quite different but if I say distribute along X the objects will sit on the same value of Y as they were but they'll be evenly distributed along the X axis. Now the X distance between each one of those objects is the same so I'm just going to undo that so you can see it. Same way we can do along the Y axis so now the objects are now spaced evenly along the y-axis between the lowest and the highest bollard. They're switching between them a little bit. Then there's also an option to distribute along the x and y axis at the same time, in which case the object will be distributed evenly between a line joining the outermost objects. So if I just do that, so now you can see they're lined up and it's distributed evenly among that, along that line. Finally, there's special distribute. This allows us to distribute the objects either, once again, by either the nearest point or the bounding box or by a predefined anchor in the bounding box. Then either along a new line or arc or an existing line or an arc. I've got an existing arc here, so I'm just going to use this. I'm just going to say push OK, distribute these objects along this arc. Then what happens, the leftmost object is moved to the start of the arc. The rightmost is moved to the, the other end of the arc. And the other objects are evenly distributed between those points along the object. This can be quite handy in a situation where you've got, or you may want to, in this case here, I'm just going to move this slab a little bit. So if you wanted to distribute the bollards along a path or along a predefined path, say an edge of a curb or something, there's a couple of shortcomings to this particular command, for example. If I drew a continuous line, or a continuous path those objects are going to be recognized as two separate objects even if we group so if I select my bollards and say distribute along special and click one of those objects they're distributed only one segment of that object. The same applies if they're distributed along a polyline. 
which is actually a single object and yet the distribute will only work on a single segment of that object and if I decided to use a spline object which once again is a single object and so distribute special distribute push OK it's just simply not going to work at all it ignores splines so in actual fact this these commands uh, are severely limited in their usability because you could easily draw an arc and set it to divide into divisions and then simply insert objects five times along it if you wanted to. Another thing to remember about this command is if we were to use an object that wasn't round, so for example a park bench, and inserted a couple of these benches, if I grabbed it and asked those to be specially distributed along that line, uh, they actually the actual alignment the actual alignment doesn't change so they're distributed so that the first one is at the end of the arc and the last one's at the other end of the arc but they're actually not aligned with the park and the align command special align to the existing curve does doesn't actually do anything even if I undo it and now say align special align to this path they're actually being moved around about the center of the arc but they're not actually being aligned so the so in other words the alignment doesn't include the rotation of objects at all